It's El Clasico. The Spanish champions against La Liga's leaders. Barcelona against Real Madrid, live from the Camp Nou in the Catalan capital. 98,000 inside, millions watching around the world. And how they love their Barcelona in these parts. A very special, special one, what with the return of Jose Mourinho to his former employer, looking for his first ever win on this ground as a coach. World Cup winners galore, two best players in the world, two biggest clubs in the world, head to head in what is potentially a title decider this early in the season. Let's join our commentary team. Terry Gibson is alongside Rob Palmer. Well, I think it might be cold where you are back home, so hog that remote control, put an extra bar on the fire and settle down for something rather spectacular. They say this game has been hyped. Let me give you a few facts. We have 13 World Cup winners, two World Players of the Year, the world's costliest player, 10 nominees for the Ballon d'Or, the biggest crowd in European football, and those are just the facts. A sea of colour greets us here. Terry Gibson, I know you've seen a lot in your career, but even you are open-eyed. Oh, it's, imagine playing it in a match of this level, absolutely fantastic. Well, let's have a look at the teams of Barcelona first of all. Between the clubs, they have 13 players with World Cup winners medals, eight of these from Barcelona. And they have the veterans of the Glan Clasicos, only David Villa is experiencing the big game for the first time. No surprises in personnel or tactics, it's the usual 4-3-3. Barca seeking a fourth successive win against their ancient rivals. Now, Jose Mourinho did have a dilemma. Argentinian striker Gonzalo Higuain reported unfit to start because of a back injury. The temptation may have been to draft in a midfielder, but he's gone for a straight replacement in Karim Benzema, just his second league start of the season. The French striker who scored against England recently will play up front. They have four derby debutants in Ozil, Di Maria, Pereira and Cavallo. the biggest game in the world, possibly the best benches in the world as well. The likes of Adriano, Mascarano, the Argentinian captain, came on for Barcelona. Higuain's in reserve. The referee tonight is preparing us for action. He's uh, to look at the Europa League again later this week. It's Adaldi Gonzalez. so many matchups it's the special one against the spectacular one the successful one it's Ronaldo against Messi it's also our very own x-factor Xavi against Xavi Alonso it's an age since Real Madrid beat Barcelona 978 days Spain, as always for this game, is at a standstill. The whole nation divided, probably the globe divided these days. Everybody has a view on Barcelona and Real Madrid. For the first time in many a season, almost impossible to tear them apart. Let the festivities begin. You are one of a global audience tonight of around 400 million people who are tuned in for this game. The greatest game on earth, they call it. And we've done with all the talking, the build-up to the game now, it's all about the football. I have to say, the two coaches that remarkably composed, Guardiola and Jose Mourinho, they know it's all about the football. Guardiola's kept it low-key. Tonight he's going to let his team, hopefully he let his team do the talking on the pitch. For Real Madrid, Rob, it must have been tempting for... Jose Marino to bring in an extra midfield player, Lasana Diara. But he's stuck with the, the pattern of play that his team have done so well with this season so far. It's attacking, it's bold, it's very unlike Jose Mourinho, but it will make for an open game. Well, it's the third year in a row that Real Madrid have gone into the game ahead of Barcelona in the Liga. As Villa's on a run, is a stretch for Pepe. Iniesta, there'll be wave after wave of Barcelona attack tonight. 
It's a similar night to last year. They played this game on exactly the same date. And of course, it was an Ibrahimovic goal that separated the two sides. There is Iniesta, the man who scored the goal in the World Cup final. Try not to hype it up too much. But every one of those players out there has accomplished great things in their career. PK to Iniesta. Villa making a move. Pepe stretches again. He's going to have his hands full tonight. He certainly is. It's going to be interesting. Fascinating for me, Rob. Real Madrid try and win the ball back. Will it be high at the pitch? Will they drop deep? Get numbers back behind the ball. Allow Barcelona possession. For me, I think they have to try and contend with Busquets. It's going to be interesting to see if Benzema drops in or Meza Ozil. And perhaps even Ronaldo. First fact of the evening has the Barcelona fans in front of us up off their seats. The referee's done well, though. He's given an advantage to Barcelona, trying to keep things moving. Little lay from Pedro, away by Marcelo. Scrappy defending from Real Madrid. Cool headed Iparaldi Gonzalez gives the free kick to the men from Madrid. You see the, the first in, I'm sure, many little one two plays, passage of plays by Barcelona. As one would expect, there's a history of bad temperedness in this game. And two players sent off in this fixture last season. Cristiano Ronaldo's got the ball, cue the booze, well handled by Valdez in very tricky, slippery conditions. And we just had a bit of rain before the game, didn't we? Start is continued and will make for us a slick surface. Will suit the passing game of both teams. Valdez picked up a knock there. Well, it's quite concerning for Valdez. He's uh, gone down and seems to be in some considerable pain. He seems to have sprung his shoulder. And now he's the last man they want to lose. I certainly do have an experienced goalkeeper on the bench in Pinto, but hasn't played much football in the last three or four seasons, I guess. Certainly wouldn't have played in a game of this magnitude. Oh, it was an absolute freak injury. It just appeared to collide with Pique as he went down. Yeah, Pique, uh, Ronaldo gets the cross in at the near post and he clashes into the shins of, of Gerard Pique. I don't think that's going to be too fat bad for Victor Valdez. It's going to take a lot more than that for him to come off the field of play in the first four minutes. Well, he's one of the veterans of this game. It's his 15th Grand Classico, Victor Valdez. He's only ever had five clean sheets in the game. That's Pinto, who is an experienced goalkeeper, but this would be the biggest game of his career if he were to come on. I'm sure that, as you say, Valdez will tough it out though. <laughs> Here's Chabi. Miscontrol from Alves. Benzema gets into the thrust of things. An unexpected call for the Frenchman tonight. Pedro. Which is out to Marcelo, who tries to play his way out of defence and bumps into his fellow countryman, Danny Alves. Lionel Messi still awaiting his first touch of the ball with five minutes gone. That looked like a corner. Assistant didn't give it. Messi picks up and goes on his first mazy dribble of the evening. He certainly didn't look like it was a near corner, Rob, but Messi didn't give it up, did he? And then the ball appeared to be glued to his foot. Di Maria clearly takes, takes the ball out of play. Tenacious as ever, Messi wins it back. The ball's glued to his foot. Carvalho comes to the rescue of Real Madrid in the end. Every Real Madrid player is called onto defensive duty. Xavi stride across the six, clever free kick, it was a missed swipe from Alves. Now Messi flicks it in! Oh, wonderful attempt! Pure genius. He's in the mood. It took him a two or three minutes, didn't it, to get in the game, but he certainly has now. Alves with a cross. It's all Barcelona in the opening stages of this game, they've got another corner. There's no roof on this stadium, if there was, the fans would be raising it. 97,000, screaming and shouting. If you were lucky enough to buy a ticket today, on the street, it would have cost you 500 euros a pop. 
Benzema's header out. Abidal to Alves. Fancies his shot from distance and he has to see his concern. The good early pressure from Barcelona. We're up there getting into their passing game. And you see Messi curling it in off the far post almost. It's exactly what he's trying to do. Beat Casillas, chip Casillas. Casillas has got no chance. Xabi Alonso is there on hand as well. Did an early glimpse of Messi there. But he works all that attack himself. He won the corner, didn't he? And from the initial corner, shot from Alves was, was half a chance as well. And Messi nearly opened the scoring. Well, it's pretty much as was forecast. Barcelona will attack, Mourinho's team will condense and absorb and try to spring the odd counter-attack with a fleet-footed Ozil and Di Maria and of course Cristiano Ronaldo. PK. Xavi. Busquets. Not such a measured pass from Busquets. There he goes, Cristiano Ronaldo. He's drawn Puyol from his sentry post. A quadruple step over from Cristiano Ronaldo. And he loses Puyol, puts the cross in. Falls for Di Maria. A drop of the shoulder from the Argentinian. Strong block. And Real's first attack of the evening comes to Little. It's a slightly different shape from Real Madrid, but Ronaldo started out wide on the right. Di Maria wide on the left. Ronaldo in recent matches. And Gonzalo Higuain has been playing, has been playing down the cent centre of the pitch, centre of attack. And I think that's part of the defensive solution for Jose Mourinho to play Ronaldo wide. Angel Di Maria wide on the other side, try and stop the Barcelona fullbacks coming forward as much as they normally do. PK, little layoff from Pedro to Xavi, to Pedro. Xavi to Alves, Lionel Messi. Strong arm tactics from Barcelona, Alves stopped by Marcelo, Messi picks up. Football being played at breakneck speed by Barcelona. Pedro, Alves, put the ball through. Messi's onside, perfectly timed, lays it inside. Pepe's having a very good game at centre-half for Real Madrid. He yeah, read that pass from Messi really well. And Messi's movement off the ball. From a standing start, he changes pace, loses anyone who's anywhere near marking him can find space in the most congested of areas. Xavi, controlling his manner. Messi, caressing the ball to Iniesta. He has Villa out, outside, oh, plays it inside, great tackle, but no, he's finished off by Xavi! Not the greatest goal you're ever going to see, but a mightily important goal for Barcelona. A huge slice of luck gives Barcelona the lead. Which is a slightly lucky goal, Rob, but to see Xavi that far advanced up the pitch. He broke the offside trap. He's fortunate, he's alert with the finish. But Real Madrid were defending deep. Talk of Barcelona keeping it low key this week. You can see the reaction from the players there when Xavi scored, the delight that they can open the scoring. Iniesta, slide rule pass, Xavi just in an onside position. He gets lucky with the first touch, but he's got the awareness. He's got the ability there to beat Casillas with a deft little flick with his right foot. Opens the scoring for Barcelona, Xavi in the centre forward position. Ballet-like balance from Xavi. That was magical. Now, what do Mourinho's team have about them? They've only been behind in one game this season. That was against Hercules, but as we know, they remain unbeaten. special one braves the rain he was hyped up his return to the Camp Nou we were expecting 
a pig's head or something like that to be thrown onto the field all animal body parts were confiscated before the game but when Mourinho did come out the reception was lukewarm for the former linguist Messi side down oh no referee said that Chevy Alonso called him Furley Benzema Cristiano Ronaldo great ball inside Ozil Di Maria spots the gap big save by Valdez I guess he's not hurting now and that's a big save so soon after Barcelona have opened the scoring good work here from Angel Di Maria deflection off of Dani Alves as well so Xabi Alonso there I think he gets enough of the ball against, with the tackle with Messi Real Madrid trying to fight back well, that was a test of the shoulder injury for Valdez, a test that he's passed with flying colours. Ozil, the Classico debutant, puts in the corner. Here's Barcelona's only debutant trying to run out. No foul again. The referee has shown his style. He's letting everything go. Well, I think it helps us, Rob, as well. For the enjoyment of the game, if he can keep it flowing. And of course, if there are any serious challenges, bad fouls, he has to, to deal with that. And that's fractionally offside against David Villa. And the only man making his Classico debut tonight for Barcelona. Pepe. Ike Casillas. Alves to Busquets. Barca boxing the game in these early stages. Real Madrid can't get a kick. Lionel Messi has been a bit part player so far. Caressing the ball to David Villa. Pass one. Runs into a bit of a cul-de-sac. Comes backwards through Busquets. Iniesta tries to play the 1 2 off the defender. And this is what we expect from Real Madrid. Quick counter attacking. There's a foul off the ball there. Again, good advantage given as it's at the feet of Cristiano Ronaldo. You never quite know what's going to happen. A top pass by him. That could have been a very embarrassing own goal by Abidal. And another important save by Valdez. He has to put his hand in the way of that, Jerry. Well, he's had to, and Real Madrid looked really dangerous on the counter attack, Rob. It's the pattern of the game that we expected. An important touch from Abidal. Valdez flicks it round the post for a corner. Interestingly, Barcelona don't bring everybody back. They've left three out of the penalty area here. And as Ramos climbs high, leading with the arms. I think Barcelona rather having far too easy possession in the attacking third of the pitch, though, and something that Jose Mourinho should be concerned about. But when they break on the counter attack, makes Ronaldo, Di Maria, Benzema, Mesut Ozil, they do look a threat. David Villa to Abidal, never available, Chavi. Iniesta, they could be the two rivals for the world and European player of the year. This man, Lionel Messi, thinks that uh, one of the Spanish World Cup winners will get it this year. Well, they're stretching the red four, Rob, and they're trying to open up a gap between Carvalho and Pepe. And they've had so many chances now, and they're really trying to do it, trying to put that little through ball through between the, the two centre forwards for an angle run from an attacking player. I'm sure that's something Guardiola has looked at, studied in his preparations to play against Real Madrid. Just a point separating the two teams. Real Madrid unbeaten under Jose Mourinho. Barcelona a point behind them. They've won the last six league games in a row. They've scored at least three goals in their last five matches. They are the entertainers. There's the biggest of the lot, Little Messi. Busquets. 
Iniesta. Must be said, Real Madrid seem content to allow Barcelona possession of the ball. They will have come here with a plan. Despite that early goal, they'll be intent on sticking to it. They always knew there'd be a, an early bluster from Barca. Busquets. He's got the place in midfield tonight ahead of Mascarano. They've been sharing duties, clearly. He's ahead in the pecking order of the Argentinian national captain. I think he fully understands that role. Robber playing in front of Puyol Pique. Drops in an awful lot as well and plays between the two central defenders when both of the Barcelona fullbacks push on an attack. He's got a good understanding of the game of a player only 22 years of age. <laughs> and he has to every Barcelona pass being greeted by an Ole. Messi, any player who likes to take more than one touch. Pedro. Xavi has it, it's a foul off the ball by Marcelo, acknowledged by the referee. Barca continue through David Villa, toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ramos, gets the cross in! You have to just admire that football there. It was Olay after Olay. But 25 passes. And again, Real Madrid didn't make a tackle. They've got to get more physical. They've got to confront the blue and red shirts of Barcelona. They're getting back in position, getting back behind the ball. But it's far too easy for Barcelona in the attacking third of the pitch. They're stretching the Real Madrid back four. They're getting runners from deep, runners from wide positions. Real Madrid just can't cope at the moment. You see the ball switched out wide to David Villa. He's taking on Ramos. He's only going to try and get to the byline. Drive it across the six-yard box. And Pedro, great play from the opposite winger. Comes in field, cuts inside. And he's there on hand to tap him from just a yard out. Well, they need a quick response here, Real Madrid. They may get it from Ozil, who tries a backflip. That will not go down well with the Madristas. Their team losing 2-0, less than 20 minutes gone. Busquets to Iniesta. Oh, great ball through. Ooh, it's good and offside. That was a reflex reaction from the referee's assistant, accepted by David Villa. I have to say, Rob, the football watch at the moment is absolutely <laughs> immense. <laughs> We're watching a really special team here. Yeah, he was, wasn't he? Yep. And again, too much time for the Barcelona midfield players to try and find the pass. And they can find the pass, by the way. Time for Real Madrid to dig deep. Come out of their defensive shells. They, they've got to change their style of play now. Interesting what about putting the body language on the touchline. Guardiola is making every tackle, contesting every decision. Mourinho stands there, silent, hands in pocket. Okay, the attempts, five attempts at goal so far for Barcelona, just the one for Real Madrid. The important start, his top left-hand corner of the screen. 2-0 Barca. Clever with this guy's pass by Xavi Alonso to Benzema. Would love to establish himself tonight. Benzema with a cross, one shot. I think he's crossing his towards the far post, Rob. He did well to work himself some space, nice and bright from the set piece. Doesn't trouble the Barcelona defence there. But psychologically, the Barca having won the last four Clasicos. Going ahead so early, 1 0, now 2 0. We know there's four debutants tonight for Real Madrid in the Classico matches, but there's enough players here that have been on the receiving end of this, those last four defeats. Mentally, they're going to find it hard to find a way back. Barcelona absolutely dominant at the moment. Messi, Pepe stretches again. Ball finds, balls kindly to 
Iniesta, scrambled away by Iki Casillas. Real Madrid are rattled. Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, it's quite fitting that it's Xavi and Pedro who scored the goals. Xavi, for so many years, the unsung hero here. Pedro, who scored 23 goals last year, always scores in the big events. He scored in every competition that he played in for Barcelona last season. And he doesn't get the plaudits. Now we have an off-the-ball incident here. The referee's had to stop play in the centre circle. And there's a bit of a ball going on. We thought there would be an edge for the game, everybody, but there's been one or two tackles. But nothing untoward as yet. I'm certainly sure that not only Jose Marina but the Real Madrid players will start to get frustrated. Show sure of petulance from Cristiano Ronaldo and his fellow countryman Mourinho also moaning. Abidal. Oh, look at this football, it's sublime. And they're not just siding apart any team, they're siding apart Real Madrid. We saw them score eight last week, didn't we, against Almeria? Two in the before the 20 minute spell in this match. As you quite rightly said, well, not against anybody. Against the Real Madrid team that are undefeated this season. Mourinho has never won as a coach at the Camp Nou. Pedro, scorer of the second goal. With time and thinking space. Rounds Marcelo, puts in yet another cross. And he had to be knocked out of play by Ramos. And he's getting little support. And There's really one almighty inquest going on down there amongst the Real Madrid defenders as well. It's a really shaky back four at the moment, Rob. The full-backs can't contend with the wingers. The two central defenders are struggling to pick up forward runners coming from deep. Taken short. Well, caught napping once more. Alves flips it over the top. It's carnival football at the moment from Barca. I did wonder, Rob, before the game whether Barcelona would still have their, their massive amount of possession that they have it almost against every other team and I think Real Madrid tonight would have enjoyed a fair share of the possession but it's no different Barcelona are playing no different tonight than they do against any other team in the division in the league Real Madrid just can't keep the ball can't keep possession can't mount any serious attacks to the Barcelona defence yeah blocked by Pepe, the one player who can hold his head up high at the moment, he's been overworked. Xavi Alonso. Miscontrolling. Mourinho just wish the referee would blow for half-time now so he can lay into his players. He has made the slight change, just Ronaldo and Miguel Di Maria swapping wings. Nothing that's changed the shape of the team. Messi. And he hasn't taken a grip of the game yet. Chani. Pedro. Now there's bombing ahead of him. Played the ball too early and Cavallo walks it out of defence. Cadera. Casillas has resigned to just lumping it over the halfway line. Payol, he'll have enjoyed that header into the old enemy. Ronaldo. Very poor pass from Cristiano Ronaldo. Messi. <laughs> Alves. Xavi. Benzema is uh, suffering with a bit of a back injury on the halfway line. They're not going to be carrying anybody Real Madrid. It's all hands to the pump at the moment. It is, and it is, they're really getting the run around rather than as Barcelona keep possession as they did for that second goal. 
But they're not only keeping possession, they're playing with purpose as well. They're getting the ball forward quickly, keeping it on the ground, the movement off the ball. It's absolutely fantastic. The technique we expect from Barcelona. We've seen them do this to some lesser teams in the Champions League, Panathinaikos and Ruben Kazan and Copenhagen. But tonight, they're mesmerising Madrid. It's a mismatch at the moment, that's onside. Pedro is there before Casillas. Another scare. Well, Casillas is remonstrating with the assistant referee, but I think he needs to remonstrate with one or two of his defenders. They're just not tracking runs, they're trying to play offside. As it works on a, on a couple of occasions now. They got away with that one, but they can't keep playing in this manner at the back. They have to defend properly, track runners, and try and put a stop to the Barcelona attacking play. Well, they've had most of the possession, Barcelona. We all know that. Let's give you the statistics on that at the moment. 72% of the possession to Barca. I think it would be generous to Real Madrid with a 28%. Yeah, they, they, they have at times been bright on the, the counter-attack. You expect because of the, the reputation of the players when you see Benzema, Ronaldo, Di Maria running with the ball, you expect something to happen. But Barcelona worked so hard off the ball to win the ball back. They just enjoy having possession of the football. Well, don't discount any Jose Mourinho side. Well, they've been torn apart by Barcelona at the moment. I mean, taught a footballing lesson. Messi, Busquets, a backflip from Busquets, Messi, Xavi, Alves, so Real Madrid legs getting very tired down there in the rain in Catalonia, Alves with a cross, Cavallo intercepts, even Ica Casillas looks speechless, Again, it's another supply of a cross from out wide. Be it Pedro or Dani Alves on the right, David Villa or Abidal on the left. Great tackle by Piol, the warrior, the captain. And his second ever appearance was against uh, Real Madrid back in 99. Came on in the 32nd minute of that match. Now a veteran of over 20 games against his old rivals. He scored a goal in the 6-2 a couple of years ago. He certainly played it plenty of intent on that challenge, wasn't there? And Ronaldo. He'll do his utmost to make sure his team do keep the clean sheet. Have it out. To PK. This game, of course, being played on a Monday night because they had elections in Catalonia yesterday. And the result that anybody wanted to know was not from the elections, but the result of this Grand Clasico. Will Real stay top, which is looking unlikely? Will Barcelona take over yet again? Something they tend to do every year. Just have so much trust in each other with the, with the possession of the ball, Rob. That if Xavi is marked heavily, there's his teammates will still pass the ball to him. Likewise, with Iniesta, Pedro, David Villa. Now, we respond to being put under pressure by the ball. Here we see David Villa against Ramos. He's going to drive to the byline. It's not the greatest defending from Ramos. Casillas gets a slight touch. Pedro on hand gets across the defender at the far post for the second goal for Barcelona. losing his court and he's dragged out of a situation by the referee Peraldi Gonzalez and he's managed to draw the wrath of the whole Barcelona team even Victor Valdez who's rushed 50 yards to say his bit to Cristiano Ronaldo Valdez is in danger of getting sent off here he's really berserk the goalkeeper's got no right to be in that area of the pitch, it's got nothing to do with him, he should keep out of it. 
it will discipline could cost Barcelona remember Valdez getting into an incident with Jose Mourinho now this is <laughs> that's what it's all about Guardiola would have gone down but he didn't want to dirty that very expensive coat <laughs> it's much ado about nothing isn't it a petulant push He's frustrated, he's been chasing the ball around. He's, this season in particular, he's used to having possession of the ball, not having to do much, too much defensive work. But he's working hard tonight for his team to try and win the ball back. But Barcelona just knocking it around him. And the other white shirts, not just Ronaldo. And the referee flashing cards. It appears that Valdez was the first to receive a caution. And then Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, a booking for Victor Valdez. He got into a pushing match with Mourinho last year when he was an Inter Milan manager. And Cristiano Ronaldo has to watch his step now, having also been boxed. Listen, Rob, it hasn't gone well for Ronaldo and Real Madrid at the moment, but the class and quality of the player, Barcelona will find it hard to contain him for the 90 minutes. It's going to be difficult for them to come back from two goals down, but they have the individual talent to create a goal out of nothing and still can get find a way back into this game. What a busy week we have of football tomorrow night. West Ham against Manchester United. I'm sure the players of both teams will be uh, looking for motivation from this one on Sky Sports 1, HD 1 as well. 7.30 start in the Carling Cup. Real staging a bit of a fight back here. There's a foul off the ball, free kick. And we'll have another yellow card to David Villa. It was a foul by David Villa on, on Semi Kadira. Again, another example of the work ethic for the Barcelona players. Training leg just catches Kadira. 2 0 ahead. David Villa doing more than his fair share. Chasing back, trying to win possession of the ball. Well, David Villa does have a bit of a hot head. He was sent off earlier in this season against Athletic Bilbao. Tends to get a a red card a season. Now you can't see from your pictures at home, but it's teeming down in the camp now. Ball will be very difficult for Valdez to handle if Ronaldo can first of all get it around that eight-man wall. Cristiano Ronaldo poises, poses, draws the wrath of the supporters and just cuts it just wide. He felt there'd been a save. He'd like to give Valdez some credit for that. And it's the free kick known as the Tomahawk, isn't it, here in Spain now? Didn't take a touch from anybody, did it? It didn't. It, it came close to touching Busquets, but it didn't. Ozil's corner is a poor one. It falls to Lionel Messi. He's been dormant for most of the first half, Messi. That's what he's at his most dangerous. Pepe tries to wrap his arm around him and can't stop him. Now there will be a yellow card. <laughs> there were extra defenders after Pepe. One would argue with Lionel Messi that it was maybe an obvious goal-scoring opportunity. <laughs> but it's got to be a yellow. He's so persistent in trying to stay on his feet, isn't he? He evades tackles, they, they barge him, they knock him. He doesn't go to ground, he got wonderful balance. The right decision from the referee there is, is clearly fouled by Pepe. Not once, but twice. It was hardly a rugby tackle, it was more a tag, wasn't it? We've had a rash. Three minutes. 
four yellow cards in the space of three minutes. Now, David Villa is offside. He's falling out with the referee. That's the only danger for Barcelona, that somebody does something foolish. Yes, it does. It gives it an edge to the game, doesn't it? They're 2-0 ahead. David Villa with a bit more concentration there. Could have beat the offside track there. Benzema. All flown to Marcelo. Squeezes it to Di Maria. Puts his weight into the cross. And strong defending from Piol. Had to come out for a goal kick. Sorry, corner kick, Piol. And Real Madrid trying to find a way to get that player into the game. Messi Ozil. In sensational form for Real Madrid this season. We haven't seen enough of him tonight in this game. They're not getting it past the first man at the near post where their corners Real Madrid. Pepe flies in. Got tackled by him. And Hel Di Maria. Di Maria's cross. There's a spare man at the far post, but Abidal rises high. There. Kicks it to safety. Well, this is the Grand Clasico, El Derby they call it in Spain. That's the Midlands Derby, Wednesday night, Birmingham City against Aston Villa. 7.30 start, Sky Sports 1, HD1 in the Carling Cup Live. Benzema. Tries to thread it through, can't be offside, it came off a Barca defender. And there's a cry for a penalty. Uh, Ronaldo, having been booked a few minutes ago, can't argue. <laughs> that smile is painted on his face, it's not a real one. He had a case, didn't he? He had a very good case. Well, I'm not so sure, Rob, I think Valdez does get a touch of the ball. And I think Ronaldo is going to ground, hoping Valdez is going to touch him on the full down. He does make contact with the goalkeeper. I think Valdez quite enjoyed wrapping his legs around Cristiano <laughs> Ronaldo after the ball had been hope poked out of play certainly a risk he should be taking Messi to Xavi Alves disguise pass look one way past it the other doesn't get overconfident though Xavi <laughs> Busquets quick footed football As we approach the final five minutes of the first half, Real Madrid are beginning to find their feet. <laughs> Piol. The people of Catalonia are thriving on this. For many years they felt they were the oppressed and the Franco regime and football was the best way of expressing their intentions. Now their footballers are ensuring that they're ruling Spain. Marcelo, Di Maria, just nothing is working for Real Madrid. No, we've got to stick with it. Just wondering whether Jose Marino rules the decision not to play the extra midfield player. Lionel Messi gets into his stride and lets off one of his little sticks of dynamite. It's nine consecutive games he's scored goals in. He's had a couple of decent attempts tonight. Again working his magic. Predominantly all left foot there. Gets the shot in from distance, can't hit the target on this occasion. Look at the balance and the skill, the touch. Ends him up. Drifts inside. This is Ozil. Marcelo. Xavi Alonso. Hardly had a touch of the ball tonight. It's been Xavi, not Xavi. He's been dictating the pace of the play. Alves. 
Gomez. We mustn't forget, Rob, this Real Madrid team is, is very new. The, the amount of money they've spent in the last two years in pursuit of this Barcelona team it makes the Clasico bigger and bigger every season. But young players, as you said, four debutants in the team this year. New signings, a whole host of new signings last year. We're going to have to stick with it. It's a young team. As Jose Marina said, not experienced. Messi has stolen the ball. He doesn't have support. He might have to go solo. He's drawn Pepe, but what a brilliant tackle that was by Pepe. It's a daunting prospect there for Pepe, wasn't it? One against one against Lionel Messi. But he stood up well, timed his tackle to perfection. Three minutes remain in the first half. For Alan Rick score a goal now, it certainly changed the mindset. Ronaldo fighting off Alves, gets the cross in, but there's a second defender there in the shape of PK. You see Messi stole the ball off of Ramos. It's bearing down on goal. Time to perfection the challenge for Pepe there. But it had to be. Ozil's corner, Arriba, away is the cry from Valdez. Alonso. Ozil volleys the ball into the area. Piol intercepts, there's an offside anyway. David Villa there and again threatening that rather high line of Real Madrid defence are holding running from deep Di Maria works his way through he just hasn't been able to get into the flow of things the referee telling him to get onto his feet as well Cristiano Ronaldo no <laughs> Is at best speculative. It was quite interesting before the game, Terry, because Mourinho was saying that he wasn't too happy with the appointment of Vitor Aldi Gonzalez. Guardiola was very happy, ever the statesman. But it's something like the referee could be blamed for this Real Madrid performance. Well, oh, Messi goes down off the ball there. Now, he's not one to take a dive, but there was a connection with Cavallo. And this is a big call for the referee. I'm not sure why Cavallo got involved with Messi. He made a good tackle. It wasn't a dive from Messi. It was a fair challenge from Cavallo, who then accused Messi of diving. Well, the referee is telling Messi to get onto his feet. And he shows the yellow card to the Barcelona map. Now Messi has accepted it. You can see the initial challenge from Carvalho, it's a good challenge. No complaints from Messi. But Carvalho was remonstrating the referee that Messi had dived. There's an elbow there from Carvalho. Might not have been the most forceful elbow, but it was an elbow. And I think Carvalho can count himself fortunate. The referee didn't see I don't think he's seen that, Rob. Did he see Messi go to ground? And he's guessed. The thing is, Terry, from the first angle, it looked nothing. From the second angle, it did look like a forearm or back arm across his face, didn't it? And Messi got booked. <laughs> well, he did rather play act. And it's not in Messi's makeup to go down like that either. Iniesta. Villa waits for the pass. That's a poor pass by Iniesta. I think the passing in the latter stages of the first half, the quality has just gone down slightly from, from Barcelona. They good opportunities to play, attacking players in. Perhaps the weight of the pass hasn't been right, the accuracy of the pass hasn't been right. 
there's still plenty left in this game. Well, Real Madrid certainly not out of it. It's going to be difficult. Our side to Xavi Alonso. It's the creative department of Real Madrid, which has been very shy in the opening 46 and a half minutes of this game. Iniesta. David Villa. Back to Piol. I remember that Barcelona went 21 years without defeat against Real Madrid at the Camp Nou. They've won the last two here, and they're in a very good position in the first half. Well, it's living up to the expectations, the most eagerly anticipated game of football in Europe. It's Barcelona who are bossing it. Shows a petulance from Cristiano Ronaldo, one of five players booked in the first half, both he and Lionel Messi. Their names are in the book, though their names are not on the score sheet. The score is in the first half, Xavi and Pedro. Now, Jose Mourinho has these wonderful powers of motivation. In the recess, he's really going to have to use them. All of the smiles are on the faces of the people of Catalonia so far at the Camp Nou. It's 2-0, Barcelona.